DigitalKnowledgeBox.com What we're going to do is be pulling this entire keyboard and everything. We're going to lift this up and uh, so that we can work with the inside. Now, uh, you don't want to just go in here and just pull this right up because there's some pieces underneath this that are connected. So you want to slowly kind of start to work it up uh, at the edges, kind of. I'm running my fingernail under there a little bit just to let it loosen up in there a bit. You don't want to force anything. Now you all can probably see this, but <laughs> I'm getting to this point and realize that I forgot to tell you to take these two off. So at this point we're going to want to take off these last two little screws. Those will pop right out. Because I could feel it, I could feel that it was holding back there and I got to looking at it and just thinking, oh, the screws aren't out yet. And there you go, you hear it pop right open then. Okay, so I've got it s sort of floating here. Again, do not just rip this off because you see that band that's connected in there? You can kind of see it. There we go. There we go. That's the piece that we don't want to rip off. You have to, you have to sort of pry that band off. There we have it. It'll come right off and that piece was connected in there. So I just use that little card just to pop it off. For a complete list of all the tools and a link to where you can actually pick up a replacement DVD drive for your MacBook, please visit digitalknowledgebox.com forward slash Mac DVD replace. There you'll be able to find the complete video download as well as a, a helpful ebook, 50 Easy Steps to Replacing the MacBook Optical Drive. So again, that's digitalknowledgebox.com forward slash Mac DVD replace. Digitalknowledgebox.com